Hey guys, this is Dave. I'm going to talk about shrinking a VHDX. I'm looking here at my VHDX, which uh, or my virtual machine, which um, is using just 3% of its allocated partition size. Um, it's partitioned for, I think that's two terabytes, um, and it's using 50 gigabytes. But on the disk, the VHDX is using uh, 300 um, gigabytes so it's got a lot of unused space that being said it's all part of the partition that is allocated and it's got to like release some of that to release that we're gonna go through a few steps so um, uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna go below the 50 gigs obviously but I want to see if maybe I can get somewhere like 60 or 80 gigs would probably be a good size for this thing. And uh, so 80 gigs is maybe what I'll target for reducing this number to. Instead of 380, we'll get to 80 gigs. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, well, i got to shut this down and um, keep the VM offline. Once it's offline, I'm going to go ahead and mount it with... Uh, in Gparted. Gparted is a downloadable uh, free disk partition uh, software. I got the ISO, downloaded it, and what I'm going to do is just mount a, um, this is a Gen 2 uh, Hyper-V to uh, using this. So um, I'm doing the wrong steps. Let me go ahead and have this use the right point to the disk that I want. So here it is. So now that I'm here, I can have this and I'm going to go ahead and start up the VM here. Now it's important that you have a backup because what's going to happen here is um, I could screw the whole thing up. So if I screw the whole thing up, I can go to a backup if necessary. So don't get yourself caught with screwing this thing up. I have, I did f find before that I thought I screwed it up and I just needed to reboot the machine and then I was able to start up. Um, so in booting the um, Gparted, it takes a moment to go through its first screen. If it doesn't get past this, then it may be because you're on Gen 1 and not a Gen 2 VHD uh, VMware. So you can't even see the bottom here because the screen's too big, but um, it's just asking you for the default language, and 33 is English. It's going to default to that, and it's defaulting to use a video card. So just enter, enter to continue from that. And then a moment later, it pops up the uh, a little interface for the partitions. So in here, I'm going to see that the partition, uh, the two terabyte partition, it's only using 53 gigs. That's great. So I'm going to go ahead and trick this thing and say, you know what, go ahead and just use, what did I say? I'm going to target 80. So let's go down to like, instead of two gigs, I'm going to go down to, um, oops, got to get the uh, 79 gigabytes and then the rest should go here. So now it's going to put um, 79, 77 it says here, and 1.2 terabytes unallocated. All right, well, um, hopefully that works. And I'm going to go ahead and hit check, apply this, and this part of the process takes the longest time in reducing, it's reallocating the used bytes to the just the starting point of the disk. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this finish, come back. Okay, so this just finished, took 10 minutes, and now I'm going to come back out here, just refreshed, and it's all good. I can just go ahead and stop, turn off. I find that this is better because when I tell this thing to shut down nicely, it actually ejects the CD, makes it more difficult next time I want to use the VM. All right, so now I need to uh, clear out some of the open space at the end of this disk. So you come here and you can edit the disk and uh, you want to compact um, the disk that's been used here. So uh, this is there's different operations, but um, 
you don't want to shrink it. Shrink it reduces what it thinks it's got. You want to actually um, compact it. Is that the right way around it? No, I actually think I want to shrink it. I take it back. So I come here, shrink, and now I'm, so I reverse my logic. I'm actually going to tell it to shrink to the maximum size it can shrink down to. This too will take some time. Uh, before I do this, one thing I like to do actually though, is, um, if this will let me, is uh, just start the VM to make sure it still works. Because if it broke, um, then there's a problem. And the thing is that I don't want to actually completely start it. I just want to see that it boots up and it does, it boots up to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start, turn it off. Um, I don't want to f fully start it because I don't want the operating system yet knowing or ever to know that it's got a smaller disk size. So that worked way too quick. And in fact, I don't think it actually reduced the size. So let's try that again. So I, it says it shrunk it already, but it didn't. Okay, it thinks it's down to 83 gigs, but obviously it didn't do that. Unless I'm seeing this wrong. Nope, it is not. So uh, it, even though it did shrink the operating system disk, it actually didn't completely shrink it. So maybe now what I'll do is do a shrink operation. compact operation. I get those mixed up. And now it's maybe actually doing that. So let this spin for uh, several minutes and uh, come back when it's done. All right, so that finished and sure enough, now I'm at 80 gigs. So my compacting and shrinking job has worked out, but I don't want to start it up because then I really will have just 80 gigs on my disk. So now I'm going to go back to Gparted, start that back up, and I'm going to re-expand the disk. Uh, actually, take it back. I need to do one thing before doing that. I need to actually expand the disk. So now that I've shrunk it, now I need to expand it again. And that just makes it so that the partition thinks it has a area to grow, even though it's not fully going to use it. It shouldn't grow at all, actually. So now I have this, and I had it before at 2 terabytes. And let's get it back up to that again. So it's 2,000 gigabytes. And just to remind us, we're at 80 gigs for the disk size. I'm going to come here, finish this, and the disk is still 80 gigs as it should be. So let's go ahead and start my Gparted. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tell the partition that it really is that size so that it can um, give the operating system two gigs. And this thing is starting up and remember starting it up, it asks two questions. I can just quickly hit enter, enter unless I like to speak a different language or for some reason have a different video card. Enter, don't touch the keyboard map. Enter, enter, enter. Gives it a minute, it comes up. And coming up, it opens up the partition. Oh no! It's not happy about something. And this may be the death of it right here. I may have to redo it all. It's not happy. Well, that'll be unfortunate. And this happens, I've found that I need to do it in slightly different increments. Something's weird about this partition size. Maybe I should have gone slightly more than 80 gigs. So I'm gonna have to do it again. And um, hopefully it gets recovered. So I'm gonna try um, something slightly different, <clears throat> which is to make it so that um, the disk size is 2048, because maybe I had that as my two terabytes before, since uh, that's actually the right um, amount of space. It's 2001, so 2048. I might have even done 2047 or something like that. 
So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and start gparted. This time, uh, notice the gparted lost its starting point. I have to start it over again because when you turn it off nicely, it ejects itself. So I had to remap that there. Let's start this back up and see if I got my partition back. Coming in, starting up, enter, enter, enter. Starting up the disk, partition mastery. And survey says, I do not have any luck. Okay, not all the space appears to be easy to fix or continue with current settings. Hmm, why don't we say fix? Yay, okay, this that worked. So um, I didn't have to completely recover. So now I'm gonna go ahead and resize this and tell it to use all of the disk size. So two terabytes is a lot. You just fill in the numbers until it looks too big. It wants to be 93,000 more. 93, 033, and we got zero left. Hit resize. Now it left one here. Go ahead and just leave that one. Don't try to fight it just as yet. Go ahead and apply this. We'll fight it in a minute. I found that it was best to let it grow. This grow operation is much quicker than the shrink because it's not having to reallocate the existing files. It's just kind of telling the file system how to take advantage of additional bytes. So with any luck, this will come back and say it's successful. And I could just go from here, but I don't like to leave that one megabyte there because that might just be confusing to see later on. So as soon as this finishes, I'm going to grow that one last megabyte. Um, I found the way to do that is to tell it um, after this because it was kind of hard to fight with this while it was um, trying to get that last one megabyte here was hard. Uh, it never succeeded except when I did it as a second step. So this finished. And now let's come back here, grow that. One more bite. Resize. Now it still didn't take it, see? So I'm fighting it. So now instead, I'm gonna, instead of aligning to megabytes, I'm going to say cylinders. And then that went ahead and look like it will work but don't do cylinders the first time i think it's the second time that at least that i found it to succeed and um, i found this operation failed when i tried to be greedy the first time so that one last megabyte i got an error anyway and maybe i'm just going to accept that error uh, maybe I'll try one more time and grow it by one megabyte. Although that now one megabyte doesn't do it, and one cylinder or one none byte. And let's try this last way to do it. Let's see if that works. And survey says. If it doesn't work this time, I'm just going to accept the one megabyte loss. Uh, looks like it's not going to work. So I'll accept the one megabyte loss. I'm okay with this thing. Going to shut this down. Uh, I still got my two terabytes, so I'm pretty happy. Let's go back to my original VM. And let's see that it starts up with any luck. Looks like it's going to go. Uh, I got my, ooh, it's actually a little larger than I expected it to be. It, it grew that, by growing to two terabytes, I didn't notice it, but it kind of grew that 80 to 113. It's much better than the 380 we were at. I probably could go back and get a little bit more out of this by doing the operation again. But uh, I expect this disk will grow. It is an archive, and it's maybe not bad that it's got that allocation sitting there. The key thing is I want to make sure I can log in and see that, yep, I got my two, two terabytes still sitting out here, and I'm able to rock and roll 
before I started this, I made a file um, just to see that I was here. All right, well, so that's pretty much the uh, the gist of it. G parted and uh, uh, being able to reduce your disk size and saving a bunch of uh, file space on your disks and backups. Hopefully this works for uh, being able to, to preserve disk spaces for all of us in the future.